Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our beloved Gazelle and we're going to look at the radios. Now like a, the Huey, we've got three radios. We've got the VHF, FM and UHF. Now the reason we have three is because they operate on different frequency bands. So I'm going to have to ask Star for this VHF frequency band, please Star. It's 118 to 130, uh, sorry, 143.975 megahertz. And the FM? That would be 30287.975 megahertz. And UHF? That is 225 to 399.975 megahertz. Thank you. So, first of all, we've got our master control up here to determine which radio we want to use and the volume of that radio. We've got VHF, UHF, and FM. All the other buttons here don't do anything, so um, don't use them. So first we're going to look at the VHF. So we're going to hover above that. Left click, you can see it's pressed down. We can all, So it's selected now. We can also use the scroll mouse to turn it up or down. So we're going to turn it up. And we're going to look at the VHF radio. This is the VHF radio, real simple here. Okay, so let's start looking at the knobs and stuff. So we're going to go over this black knob here, use the scroll wheel, and we can scroll in the frequency. Now I want to do an actual test, so we're going to go to here. Uh, we're going to click on the airport that we're at. You can see we want to talk to ADC, who is at 118.60. So that's what we're going to go for. So we're going to turn this... Hang on, just get my track oil working. So we're going to turn this knob to 118. And um, now we can change the lower half of this knob with the left and right, right mouse buttons to go between 0.25 or 0 0.50. Uh, interval so we want to go to 0 0.50 interval and we change that uh, that interval with this knob here with the mouse wheel See we can go up in 0 0.50s. So we're gonna go down to 600. Zero, zero. There we go Next we've got the master control the bottom half of this knob with the left and right mouse button We can go to a off M on This uh, here a uh, silent uh, uh, anti uh, Non squelch mode is what that that still is and you've got a test mode I want to go to M, so sorry for looking a bit weird, it's just my track AR playing up. So I know you can't see it very well, but I've changed it to M and you can see that because the light's on. Now I can use our communications button, which you can set uh, in the, in fact I'll just show it in the controls. That one there, radio communication toggle menu. And this wouldn't work unless you'd set this up. Um, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to request takeoff. And field one, one, request takeoff. And wait. And that's it. We've we've talked to it. Uh, there you go. Right now we're going to turn. Th yes, go ahead, Sean. One thing you know that would work uh, if you're on a server with uh, easy communication or simple communications on, but we don't have that currently. Roger, we don't use uh, easy communication, so you have to do it properly like this. Right, so that's the VHF. Now we're going to use the FM radio, which is the next one down. So we're going to go to our master control here, and we're going to select FM. So we press that. We're going to turn the volume up because we can. And we're now working on this. Now let me make sure we turn this one off. Otherwise it's going to get very confusing. Whoops. That's that off. Onto our FM. Now we've got our master control here. AR is a red. Traffic, Showtown, Rail and Test. The way this works in DCS is traffic, Showtown and Rail just mean on. That's all it means. It's different in the real chopper, but that's all we care about. Uh, now we can't type in the um, actual frequency we want uh, in this FM. We have to use preset frequencies. We do that with this knob. 30, 31, 32, 33, 40, 41, 42. Those, pre whoops, those presets are set in the mission editor. So I can't set them now. They are set in the mission editor. Um, now I can't talk to this base here because they happen to be on a different FM frequency that we don't have in our presets. But Stahl, is there something else we can do with it? I uh, should be able to send you a message as long as we're on the same frequency. What is your current preset? Three zero. Copy that. Send Light. Cover me. Yep. Uh, so because Stahl is on FM three zero as well, and we're both selected and turned on, you see Stahl managed to send us a message. Okay. Anything else you want on that Stahl before I um, uh, go to the UHF? Yeah, the pure for trees actually a lot more complicated in real life, um, but it is still in active NATO operations and it is used for encrypted communication, so it's mostly classified. That is why it is so simplified. That's the one we're talking about. Okay, right, we're going to go to VHF uh, now. Sorry, UHF. We're going to click on there and turn it up, which we've done. Now, you can't really see it from the pilot seat. I'm going to press the 2 key and move over to the commander seat and let's see if we can get a better view of it. We're going to have to shift this up just a little bit. 
Right, that, there we go. Right, so this is a different frequency band. It's very simple. Basically, zero is off. All of the other commands, as far as we're aware, just mean on. Um, so if there's a someone you want to talk to, I don't think I have anyone to talk to on UHF, so we'll just make up a frequency. Excuse me just a second. I'm going to just set... Um, what, what's the frequency band? 225 plus? Uh, 225 to 400, basically. Roger, so I'm going to try 3, 4, 7... Point nine nine nine. I click validate to enter that in and I've got it selected on my master control up here so that is me tuned in whoops that is me tuned in on the UHF to 347.999 uh the simple as that really have you got anything you want to add to the UHF Shah? uh no just in general we should probably quickly talk about the intercom panel which is above the net, above the net. Um, there are two panels that look exactly the same uh they're just there to select which pan which radio you want to talk through the second panel on the bottom is for your co-pilot, and the knobs also work as volume knob. Roger, I call this uh, the master control, but it's called intercom, is it? Yeah, it's the intercom panels. Also, one thing to note, uh, when you're using other models of the cells, such as the L, for example, that have working controllers uh, on the center console, uh, one or two of the radios will actually be moved. Um, I think one of them will be moved up to where the second intercom panel is right now, and one of them will be moved over towards the co-pilot. Roger, so we're in the uh, mic version of the helicopter, but if you're on other versions, these radios will be moved, but function just the same. Right, we hope that, he hope that helps, and we'll see you later.